Discounting scars and sporadic employment for strategic missions, military helicopter is a tactical platform. Its roles have evolved impressively over the years. Future helicopters or the next-generation helicopters can do much more than today's versions, including supporting systems that can conduct independent maneuver, achieving greater speed and range, and to operate in a highly contested operational environment. Today, the Buzz would like to present the 10 main military helicopters of the future, so stay tuned. So, firstly, we have the Mil MIX-1. The Mil MIX-1 is a high-speed helicopter being proposed by Mil of Russia. It is intended to create a new generation of middle-class helicopters cruising at about 500 km per hour. The design is competing for a US dollar's 1.3 billion project by the Russian government and Kamov is the other competitor. The MIX-1 may be powered by two upgraded Klimov VK-2500 turbochefs or two future Klimov VK-3000 currently under development. Similar engines are installed on Mil Mi-28 and Kamov Ka-50 attack helicopters. Its preliminary design and early specifications were unveiled at Heli Russia 2009 exhibition near Moscow. Up next, we have the Leonardo Helicopters AW249. This is an attack helicopter project under development by the Italian firm Leonardo SPA. The AW249 will feature all the latest technology developments in its market segment and will benefit from the design leadership of Leonardo. The AW249 will have speed and endurance to sustain the most difficult attack, close air support and armed escort operations. It will be equipped with General Electric T700 or Saffron and NATO engine and will be able to operate in all environmental conditions. Leonardo has indicated that this new design will be more stealthy by lowering its radar cross-section and infrared signature. Up next, we have the TAI T625 Gokby, which is a twin-engine light transport utility helicopter developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries. The Turkish Aerospace Industries launched preliminary design studies in 2010. The project commenced in 2013 when Under Secretary for Defense Industries signed a contract with the Turkish Aerospace Industries to develop a 6-ton class multi-role helicopter for land operations. It is designed for IFR and VFR single pilot operations, night operations and flight in known icing conditions. Up next, we have the AVX helicopter. The AVX aircraft proposed an aircraft with their coaxial rotor and twin ducted fan design that provides better steering and some additional forward power. This design is for the Army future long-range attack aircraft. It is capable of flying at 430 km per hour. Test aircraft will be equipped with current GE T706 engines, but AVX is looking to equip their design with the advanced affordable turbine engines with its higher 4,800 horsepower output. All armaments will be stored inside until needed to provide a clean aerodynamic design. Up next, we have the Piasetsky X49A Speedhawk. This is a concept aircraft based on applying X-49A compounding concepts to a production UH-60 Blackhawk, offering better performance, range and increases in useful load. The concept of the experimental program was to apply the vector thrust ducted propeller technology to a production military helicopter to determine any benefit gained through increases in performance or useful load. The Speedhawk aircraft uses an SPU high forward swept wing concept and performance oriented improvements. Up next is the Kamov KA90. The Kamov KA90 is a projected high speed helicopter built by Kamov, a model of which was displayed at Heli Russia 2008 trade show in April 2008. The concept is a hybrid design flying like a helicopter for takeoff and landing and an airplane in cruise flight. In December 2017, Oleg Zeltov, the head of the Kamov Design Bureau, confirmed that the work on the KA-90 is underway and that the current stage of development includes research and design models and in wind tunnels. 
Next, we have the Camov KA92, which is a high-speed coaxial helicopter design proposed by Camov of Russia for a $1.3 billion project by the Russian government for development of a high-speed helicopter. It is intended to create a new generation of medium-class helicopters capable of cruising at about 500 km per hour and flying over a distance of up to 1,400 km. The design is planned to install a powerful engine of 3,200 horsepower via VK-3000 turboshafts. It is also planned as a 30-seat passenger helicopter with a takeoff weight of 16 tons. Up next, we have the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant, which is the Sikorsky aircraft and Boeing entry for the United States Army's future vertical lift program, succeeding the joint multi-role initiative. It is a compound helicopter with rigid coaxial rotors, which made its first flight on 21st March 2019. Sikorsky Boeing states the SB-1 will be quick and nimble with fast acceleration and deceleration, fast side-to-side -side movement and the capability to hover with a tail up and nose down. The Defiant demonstrator will be powered by the Honeywell T-55 which powers the CH-47 Chinook. Up next, we have the Bell 360 Invictus. This is a proposed helicopter design intended to meet the United States Army requirement for a future attack reconnaissance aircraft. It is based on technology from the Bell 525 Relentless and its main engine will be a single General Electric T901 turboshaft engine with supplemental power from a Pratt & Whitney PW207D1 turboshaft. The U.S. Army requirement calls for a cruising speed in excess of 180 knots or 330 km per hour. Combat radius will be 135 nautical miles or 250 km with at least 90 minutes time on station. And lastly, we have the S-97 Raider, which is a high-speed scout and attack compound helicopter, which is under development by Sikorsky Aircraft. The S-97 design includes variable-speed rigid coaxial main rotors and a variable pitch pusher propeller, making the S-97 a compound helicopter. It has fly-by-wire control and dynamic anti-vibration actuators to cancel out shaking. Based on the technology from the Sikorsky X2 demonstrator, the prototype S97s will be powered by a General Electric YT706 turboshaft. A more powerful engine developed under the improved turbine engine program is expected to become available. So that's it guys for today, thank you guys for viewing in, bye bye.